So today we're going to start on all fours with the hands under the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. Take a deep breath in, find a long spine. And as you breathe out, lift the belly into the back. Roll the shoulders back over the chest, breathe in. And slowly scoop the pelvis under, rolling through the spine as you breathe out. Tipping the tail back, letting the belly melt down, then pressing the chest forward, inhale. And slowly curling from the hips, vertebrae by vertebrae to cat. Exhale. Inhaling up. Exhaling curl. Keep going with that. Notice how you're feeling as you inhale and arch. And exhale and curl. Does one feel better than the other? What do you notice in your body? And once you find your next exhale into cat, we're going to start rotating the ribs through a full 360 degrees. Try not to skip any of the edges. Let's go the other way. Really use the breath. You know, so many people do sweaty yoga practices thinking that it's a great way to detox, but Sweat is actually your air conditioning system. Exhale is one of your detox systems. And once you come back to that in exhale, draw a long spine breath in, tuck the toes, send it back to downward dog, breathe out. You can keep it short to begin with today. Keep the knees really bent, active push through the arms as you breathe in and try and feel the elbows roll back towards the knees as you breathe out. Lift up onto tiptoes, inhale. One knee bends, other heel down, exhale. Switch sides on the breath in. Switch back on the breath out. Keep going, walking out your dog. I'm just gonna check on your down dogs this morning or this afternoon. Good, lengthening that tailbone up towards the ceiling as you breathe in and really pushing through the arms. Look for the moment that your body says you can rest in this position where you no longer need to pedal out the feet. And just pause here, noticing the spaces in the backs of the ribs. Fill them with your breath. Exhale, hollow the belly. One more time. Lift the heels, breathe in. Bend the knees, breathe out. Look to your hands and the right foot will lead as you walk to the top of the mat. We have two fist distance between the feet. Just take hold of the elbows. Your knees can soften as much as you need, releasing side to side, loosening and lengthening the spine, taking some seaweed-like movements here. We can allow the hands to fall to the floor. Let the crown of the head drop straight down. I'm taking time now. This is time for you, time to connect with this moment. No concern for what comes next. Parking what came beforehand. Take time to roll up through the spine. And at the top, roll the shoulders back and down three times. Let the palms face forward with the arms by the sides. If you're able to, close your eyes and notice where your feet connect to the earth. Notice the line of the ball of the feet, the outer edge of the foot, the heel. So this is the grounding part in Padabandha where we press down through these spaces. From here, the arch of the foot rises. Feel the strength of the connection through the sole. Can you lift and spread all 10 toes? And then one toe at a time, press them down. 
Notice the sense of gently clawing into the ground through the very tips of the toes, the whole foot working to send roots down. The arch of the foot lifting energy up through the inseams of the legs, lifting the kneecaps, the thighs rising into the hips. And then squeeze the tailbone gently under to keep them there. Notice the pelvic floor rising, it's Mula Bandha, the lock of your core. Notice the hip bones draw inwards across your low belly. And keeping this sense of wide collarbones, broad chestedness, notice the rib cage settle inwards and down towards the hip bones. Notice the back of the neck. Allow that to lengthen upwards through the crown of the head towards the ceiling. And notice the breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Take a breath in, connect the hands overhead. And exhale, draw them into heart center. And just take this moment to set the intention to stay connected to self, connected to practice, and connected to now. And that we can accept that wherever we are with our practice is exactly where we need to be. The next exhale releases the hands by the sides. Open the eyes, breathe in, stretch them up. And from the hips, fold forward, down to the ground. Slide the hands along the shins, lift halfway, inhale. Slide them down the calf, fold forward, exhale. Again, halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Last time, halfway lift, inhale. Crouch down, 10 fingers to ground, exhale. We're going to step back to high plank, right leg, then left. So step back right, then left. Big breath in. And then control slowly to the mat, knees, chest, and chin, elbows hugging. Keep looking at the ground as the hands come out wide to the side, the chest rises, inhale. Tuck the toes, press the hands down, find your downward dog. Exhale. Tailbone extending upwards, breathe in. Front ribs drawing down towards the hips, breathe out. Long line from wrists through shoulders, inhale. Crown of the head releasing straight down, exhale. Up onto the toes, breathe in. Both knees bend, hips sink low, breathe out. Left then right, we walk to the hands at the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Surrender forward, exhale. Arms sweep to sky, breathe in. And swan dive back down, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Crouch down, fingers plant into ground, exhale. Left then right, high plank, deep breath in. Hold the breath, then exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, elbows hugging in. Gaze down, hands open, chest rising, inhale. And then press through the earth, find your downward dog, exhale. Three breaths here. We're starting to move, we're starting to connect breath, movement, action, generating heat, heat to provide access to greater opening. Empty fully, heels rise, breathe in. Knees bend deeply, breathe out. Now the option here is to float to the top of the mat or hop on the right foot. Big toes touch, knees squeeze together. Find a halfway lift, inhale, bow forward, exhale. The arms sweep down, lowering the towel to the ground, chair pose, chest rising, breathe in. 
Ribs pulling in, loading the heels. Breathe out. Good. Ten toes lift and spread. Inhale. Draw the hands to heart center. Exhale. We're going to puff up the upper back and tip gently forward. Breathe in. And then we're going to twist to the right as we breathe out. Keep this right shoulder lifting. Inhale. And feel your left rib connecting down towards your right hip as you exhale. Nice. Can we stay here? All the weight is going to come down through your right knee, right leg, sorry, right heel, breathing out. Left foot is going to hover off the ground, breathing in. Send it all the way to the back of the mat, breathing out. Now notice your pelvis. Keep it even. Puff it up. Breathe in. Twist a little further through the ribs, breathing out. Inhale to the center. Exhale the hands to arrowhead. Standing L comes next. So we're going to take a breath in to prepare. Exhale, load the right foot. Flex the left foot, breathe in one straight line from crown to heel. Hips are tightly connected. Breathing into the upper back. Hollowing the belly. Open through the chest. Strong through the leg. One last inhale here. Now land the edge of the left foot down through the ground. Arms come up, warrior one. Inhale. Open to the side, warrior two. Exhale. The edge of the left foot will lift as we come to high lunge. Breathe in. Now the left arm comes forward, the right arm comes back. Big twist. Breathe out. Nice. I want you to pause here for a moment. Check in that the collarbones are open and that the ribs are right over the hips. Inhale back to the center. Both arms are up. Exhale, warrior two. Notice the right knee. It should be spiraling outwards towards the third toe. And here it stays throughout our twisting flow. Left heel rises, both arms up. Inhale. Left arm forward, right arm back. Exhale. Return to crescent lunge. Breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. One more time. You don't need me. You know where to go. Your breath guides you. Your body remembers. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Take your hands to the top of the mat, lifting the left heel. Exhale. Step forward, lift halfway, breathe in. Bow down, release to the ground, breathe out. Both arms up, chair pose, inhale. Squeezing into knees and thighs, sink low, exhale. Long sides of waist, breathe in. Hands to heart center, breathe out. Puff up the upper back. Twist to your left. Left shoulder open. Right rib to left hip. Keeping the knee stacked. Loading the left foot. Right foot rises. Step it down all the way back. Puff up the pelvis. Rotate further. One more breath in. Empty it fully. Inhale to center. Exhale, arms back. Long line, breathe in. Load the left foot, breathe out. Standing out, inhale. Square the hips, exhale. Heel to crown, breathe in. Foot dr driving down, breathe out. Two more breaths. Fill up, 
and land the outer edge of the right foot down. Arms come up, warrior one, inhale. Open to the side, warrior two, exhale. Lift the heel, crescent lunge, breathe in. Twisting to your left, right arm forward, left arm back, breathe out. Pause here. Notice the space through the chest. Energize the fingertips. Breathe in. Notice the twist happening at the waist as you breathe out. Pelvis is still square. Inhale. Faces is relaxed. Exhale. Present lunge. Arms up. Breathe in. Warrior two. Breathe out. Present lunge, heel rises, inhale. Open to the twist, exhale. Back to the center, breathe in. And warrior two, breathe out. One more round, all yours. Stable through the belly, squeeze into the bottom. And staying here in warrior two. Breath in through the chest. Breath out, grounding the feet. Palm flips over, reverse, inhale. Cartwheel the hands, top of mat, exhale. I'm going to step that left foot back to high plank, breathe in. Lower with control, knees, chest and chin, breathe out. This time, find your full cobra pose. Inhale. Then strengthen up that belly before finding downward dog. Exhale. Three breaths here. Looking good, guys. Really extend the tailbone to the ceiling. You should really, in your downward dog, feel your arms very close to your ears. Your shoulders should be pushing upwards towards your ears. Lovely. We're going to revisit this sequence again as a flow. It will be a little bit more fluid and I will also add on at the end. So the heels rise, breathe in. Knees bend deeply, breathing out. Option to float or hop onto the left foot at the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Chair pose, arms up, breathe in. Hands to heart, load the heels, breathe out. Lift the chest forward, lift the bottom, inhale. Rotate to your left again, exhale. Right leg rises, breathe in. Step it to the back of the mat, breathe out. Inhale to the center. Exhale the arms back. Standing L, breathe in. Heel to ground, outer edge down, breathe out. Warrior one, arms come up. Warrior two, open to the side. Check the knee. Present lunge, breathe in. Take the twist, breathe out. Go through another round. Your moving meditation. Meeting in warrior two. So noticing the left heel dividing the midline of the right foot. Chest is open, tailbone scooping under. Now everything below the waist, keep it exactly as it is. Reverse your warrior, breathe in. Take your left elbow to the top of the thigh, breathe out. Now check, is your right shoulder still in line with the right heel? From here, extend the arm over the ear, side angle pose, breathe in. Good, keep the shoulders away from the ears, breathing out. Take another inhale here. Can you slide your left hand down without releasing the bottom backwards? Try to keep the knee in line with the ankle. You've got an option to place the hand on the block so that you don't let this right shoulder roll forward and the bottom stick out. Keeping right shoulder stacked over left arm. 
Take two more breaths here. Take an inhale to prepare, open the chest and exhale it back into warrior two. Triangle pose, extend the left leg, breathe in. Reach your left arm forward, keeping this side of the waist long as you breathe out. Nice, now the right arm comes straight up to the ceiling, the whole body is still in one pain. And your left hand, the back of your left hand will rest somewhere on the inside of your left calf. Beautiful, try and find a straight line from fingertip to fingertip, breathe in across that line. And breathe out as the pubic bone connects up into the belly. Good, take another breath in, empty it. Can you inhale and make the left side of the waist longer? Good, you can exhale and pull that right hip back. Take another breath in. Can you slide that left hand down a little lower? Two more breaths wherever you are. Try and keep the neck long not allowing the head to fall. You look amazing, guys. Empty the breath fully. Inhale to rise. Exhale the hands onto the hips. I think we've earned a forward fold. Lift those left toes, breathe in. Face them to the right toes, breathe out. Lift the chest, inhale, and fold it forward. Exhale. Bring the hands to the floor. See if you can load your pelvis forward so the weight is over the arch of the foot, closer to the ball than the heel. Sending the tailbone upward, breathe in. Releasing the crown down now, breathe out. Two more breaths here. Relax as much as you can. And whatever shape you'd like to create with your arms is perfectly valid. Finding a flat back, breathe in. Hands to hip creases, tailbone scoops under, breathe out. Come all the way up to stand, inhale. Cool, so we're going to lift the right heel and turn it in, pressing it down as we exhale. Lift the belly, breathe in, bend into the right knee, send it to the little toe as you breathe out. Find your pelvis in line with your ribs, send your body weight forward, inhale. Your bottom can shift back as the hands come to the ground. Exhale, nice. Now these left toes, we're gonna to lift and turn them up towards the ceiling as we breathe in. We're keeping our weight towards the right heel as we slide that left heel away. Breathing out. Keep pressing the right knee open. You can use your right elbow. Inhale. Seeing if we can lower the bottom a little more without lifting the heel as we exhale. So this is a Skandasana preparation. You're gonna stay here for three breaths. I'm gonna come and check on your alignment. Nice, working to keep both arms on the inside of your right knee. Both arms on the inside of the right knee, working to keep the heel on the ground, which might mean that the bottom doesn't go so low and that's okay. We're trying to work with our inner thighs today. Great. Take one more big breath in here. Empty it fully. Lift the chest, come to fingertips. Look at your left foot, breathe in. Now lunge to that left foot, both hands come to the ground. Breathe out. I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna show you this on the other side, actually. Well, I don't need to, it's fine. Inhale your left arm out to the side. Exhale your left fingertips to the base of the skull, like this. Oh, I told you a lie. No, that's right. And then inhale your left elbow up to the ceiling. Exhale your left elbow down to your right elbow. Now I want you to keep the hips still as we go through this flow. My right hand is in line with my left foot. I inhale my left elbow straight up. I exhale it across to my right elbow. Inhale it up. Pull the ribs in as you curl and reach down. Keep going with that. Elbow rising. Yes, guys, looking really good. Exhaling down. 
You have two more rounds. Now, once you inhale that left elbow back up, extend all the way to the fingertips. Roll the shoulders back. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, circle the left arm back and down. Inhale it up and over the shoulder. Exhale it back and down. Take one more. And now we go the other way. Inhale the arm up. Exhale it forward and down. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. You have one more of these. Now inhale that left arm up. Exhale, replace it down. Take the right knee to the ground. We're going to extend the left leg back and up as far as we can. Breathe in. Lower the chest down between the thumbs. Breathe out. Keep that left leg high. Now find your cobra pose. Inhale. Send it back into downward facing dog. Exhale. You have three breaths here. Notice how your body feels. Connect deeply to your breath. Try and relax the face. Lift the heels, breathe in. Bend the knees, breathe out. Step or float to the hands at the top of the mat. Big toes touch, chest rises, halfway, breathe in. Melt forward, crown down, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale. Hands to heart, dive low, exhale. Tip forward, breathe in. Spiral to the right, breathe out. Good, keep the hips level and steady, chest open, inhale. Loading the right foot as we spiral further. Exhale. Left heel rises. Steps to back of the mat. Return to the middle. Arms extend back. Standing out. Breathe in. Edge of foot down. Warrior one. Warrior two. Present lunge. Twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Arms up. Press them away. Stay here. Really setting a strong pelvis, a solid base here in our warrior two. Such spira, such strength and reliable foundation, we can create stuka and softness through everything above the hips. And palm turns over, reverse the warrior, breathe in. Plant the elbow into the top of the thigh, breathe out. Sweep the left arm over the ear, side angle pose, inhale. Cubic bone is curling up towards the ribs. Exhale. Straight line from edge of foot to fingertip. Breathe in. Right arm comes down to the arch of the foot or onto the block. Breathing out. Keep stacking left shoulder over right. Keep tucking tailbone under. One last inhale. Warrior two. Triangle pose, right leg extends, side of waist forward, left arm to ceiling, right hand straight down, back of the hand pressing out into the calf, stacking shoulder over shoulder, scooping tailbone under, extending right waist further, drawing left hip back. Two more breaths. Stand with your inhale. 
Hands to hips, toes turn inwards on the exhale. Shoulders roll back, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Take the hands to the ground. Lengthen the spine, load the balls of the feet, breathe in. Turn the hands around, walk them far through the legs, breathe out. Notice both sit bones reaching upwards. The crown of the head pouring straight down. The arches of the feet rise, energizing the insides of the leg. The edges of the feet ground, keeping you steady. Two more breaths. Hands under the shoulders, find your flat back, breathe in. Tuck the tailbone under, hands on hips, breathe out. Root to rise, inhale. We're gonna turn the left toes out, uh, the right toes, left toes out as we exhale. Stack from pubic bone to crown, breathe in. Press our weight wide to the left, breathing out. Good, now flat back. Inhale, hands to the ground, left hip down, exhale. Right toes rise to ceiling, breathe in. Keeping the body centered to the left, send the right leg away, breathe out. Hands are on the inside of the left knee, press it open wide, inhale, and then drop that heel straight through the floor as we exhale. Puff the chest up, breathe in. Can we pulse the bottom lower, breathe out. Stay here for two breaths, we'll let them check on you. Make sure those right toes turn up to the ceiling. All right. So we're gonna plant the right toes down, lift the chest and spin it around into our lunge. Right arm rises, breathe in. Hands to the base of the skull, breathe out. Elbow to ceiling, inhale. Cross it down to the left elbow, exhale. Open up to the ceiling, breathe in. Cross it down to the elbow, breathe out. Up to the ceiling. Down to the elbow. Two more. Inhale the right arm all the way up. Exhale, circle back and down. Open on the breath in, sweeping on the breath out. Inhale it up and circle the other way. And the next time that arm comes around, take it all the way to the ground and the back knee down. Right leg kicks up to the ceiling, chest open, inhale. Take the chest straight down to the thumbs, exhale. Pull through, cobra pose, breathe in. Send it back, either downward dog or child's pose, your choice, breathe out. You have five breaths here. Well, if you're in child's pose, it's five breaths to meet back in down the top. And then we get into the meat of the work we've been doing today. All right, if you're down in child's pose, take an inhale onto all fours and exhale back into downward dog. Inhale your right leg high to the ceiling. Exhale, bend the knee, allow the hip to roll open to the side. Stay here for a big breath in. Really enjoy it as you breath out. You're going to go any higher with your inhale. Now look to the hands, sweep the foot to the top of the mat. Exhale. Lift the chest, breathe in. Press the edge of the foot down. Breathe out. I want you to notice 
a strong pelvis. Breathe in, puff that space up. Circle the left arm back, warrior two. Breathe out. Open chest. Strong legs. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Fold the left elbow behind your back. Exhale. Good. Really encourage the left shoulder to open as you breathe in. Can we aim these right fingertips straight down onto the block or the ground as we breathe out? Stacking the left shoulder over the right. Inhale. Tucking that tailbone under. Exhale. Find a connection between your right arm and your right leg. See if you can press in that nothing so much that nothing else moves when you lift your right hand off the floor. Slide the shoulder down a little more. Wrap the right hand back underneath you. Send it so the fingertips point directly away from your body. Now open the chest, bring the crown of the head to your right big toes. Breathe in and see if you can connect your fingers behind your back as you breathe out. If you can't, this is where you use the strap to create a link between your hands. So the head is pressing forward. The right knee is directly over the ankle. The left shoulder is stacking over the right and you're connecting either the hands together or to the strap behind the back. All the load needs to now come into the right foot. We're gonna inhale to prepare and exhale to hop the left foot halfway up. Now in this bird of practice paradise, a bird of paradise practice, wherever you are today is perfect. See if you can slide your right foot a little closer to the left and your bottom is gonna to need to rotate. So we're gonna be transferring the weight from foot to foot. We're gonna lift the right heel, shift the weight into the left leg. Can we hop that right foot off the floor? How much would you need to squeeze your left butt cheek and load your hip directly over that heel to get all the weight over to the left, to be able to use your drishti on the ground, your shoulders rolling back, your tailbone stacking over that left heel to rise. So we're looking to stand, keeping the chest open. And if you can get all the way up, then we'll start to look at extending the right leg fully. Wherever you can balance today is where I want you to stay for three breaths. One more inhale. Slowly bend and return the right foot to the floor as you exhale. Transfer the weight into the right foot. Lift the left heel, breathe in. Step it all the way to the back of the mat, breathe out. Take one last breath here in your bind and exhale, warrior two. We have three breaths here. Inhale, the hands of the left heel up, crescent lunge. Breathe in. Bring that knee down slowly to the ground. Breathe out. Lift the chest, press the hips back. Inhale. Flex the right foot, send the heel away. Hands to hips. Exhale. Chest open, breathe in. Fold forward, hands to floor. Breathe out. Now, if it's difficult for you to maintain a long spine here, please be my guest and bring your hands onto blocks. Or you can even rest your elbows on your shin if that helps you keep lifting through the chest. Inhale, come onto the fingertips, chest rising. Exhale, lunge forward. Tuck the left toes, lift the knee. Oh, actually, no. Let's keep that knee down. Take the right leg back up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Lower the chest to the thumbs. Exhale. Now you've got the option to find your cobra pose or your up dog. Breathe in. All the way back into downward dog. Breathe out. And stay there and breathe.
Great work, guys. Just notice how your body feels. Without judgment or criticism, just being aware of what is present for us in this moment. And with your inhale, extend the left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, exhale, roll it to the side. Enjoy this opening. Exhale the foot through the hands. Breath in, chest up. Breath out, edge the foot down. Scoop the ribs into the back body. Find your warrior two. Breath in. Stack the knee. Reverse, inhale. Elbow bends behind the back. Exhale. Open the chest. Plant the left elbow into the top of the thigh. Roll the right shoulder open. Breathe in. Slide the left hand down. Breathe out. Keep stacking. Tower and under. Can you press your left shoulder and knee to each other? Press the knee further forward, keeping it right over the ankle, not letting it shift back behind the hip. Let your next exhale send all of the weight down through the left foot. Inhale to prepare. Exhale your right foot halfway up the mat. Make sure it's turning to the long edge of the mat, horizontal. We need to bring our left foot further back now. So start to lift the heel, lift the chest, breathe in. Send your hip towards your right heel, popping the leg closer as you breathe out. Now that same process occurs on this side where we're working really hard to tip our weight back, to stack over the right leg. To keep the knee and the left shoulder together as we slowly rise. And if we can get upright, if we can keep that knee on the shoulder, if we can open the chest so wide, maybe we can start to extend that leg. Keep breathing, soften the face. One more inhale. You can bend the knees, you exhale. Hold it here, breathe in. Start to find a flat back, taking the toes slowly to the floor as we breathe out. Loading the right foot. Stepping, sorry, loading the left foot. Stepping the left foot, or the right foot, all the way to the back of the mat. So the load is in the left foot, the right foot comes to the back of the mat on the outer edge. Stacking the shoulders as we breathe in. Finding warrior two as we breathe out. Three breaths here. Lifting the right heel and the arms up to crescent lunge. Breathe in. Slowly lowering the right knee down to the ground. Breathe out. Puffing up the pelvis, extend the leg, inhale. Hands to hips, exhale. Flex the left foot, breathe in. Drive the heel away, breathe out. Chest open, lift up. Fold forward, then hands grounded or under the blocks. You can come in deeper if you want to with your exhale. Lifting the chest, breathe in. Pressing down through the left foot, breathe out. Kick that left leg all the way up to the ceiling. Take the chest down to the thumbs. Cobra or upward dog, inhale. And just taking child's pose now, exhale. 
Emptying the breath fully, slowly rolling up through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Tucking the tailbone under, lifting the hips. We're going to take the right foot across to the left side of the mat, turning the knee out wide to the right. It's important that you curl your toes up and towards your knee here. Breathe in. Slowly take your hips forward, setting up for half pigeon as we breathe out. Extending that left leg back, chest open. Slowly lowering forward as we breathe out. Just come onto the elbows if that's comfortable for you. You can be a little bit higher. And start to tip your hips to the left, forward and left, and back and right. Forward and left on the inhale. Back and right on the exhale. And all the while, we're trying to keep the shoulders the same distance from the floor. We're trying to keep the belly button in the middle of the body. So find the sweet spot where you're balanced evenly between both hips now. See if you can take your left leg further back. Take a breath in. And choose an expression of surrender to relax. Two more breaths here. Taking the hands under the shoulders, taking your time to inhale and rise. Exhale your weight over onto the right hip now. You're gonna slowly pivot onto the left heel, rotating the left toes to the ceiling as the right foot comes to meet the left thigh. Once your weight is over both of your sits bones, bring the arms up to the ceiling. Inhale, fold slowly over the left leg. Exhale. Empty the breath. Both arms by the ears as we rise, breathe in. Left, uh, sorry, right hand is coming down near your right hip, about 30 centimeters away as you breathe out. Keep your left arm over your ear as you scoop the hips up, pushing the left toes down. Breathe in. Enjoy this side bend. Two more breaths. Final inhale. And slowly sitting down as we exhale. Breathe in, the right arm comes up. Breathe out, the left hand is going to come down across your right leg. Rotate your chest to the right, breathe in, and slowly tip to the left. Breathe out. Keep rolling the right shoulder as you inhale, slicing the left arm away as you exhale. Two breaths here. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale them down onto the ground. We're going to slide the left knee in as we breathe in and roll onto the knees as we breathe out. Nothing fancy. Picking the bottom up, inhale. Step the left foot across to the right side of the mat as you exhale. We're going to send the knee open, turn the toes on, breathe in, and start to lower down into that left hip, sending the right leg away. So looking for the balance, the equality in the distance of the hip bones from the mat. And then slowly coming to elbows. Inhale the hip forward to the right and exhale it back to the left.
and looking to find your centered point. Where your hips are even, where we're on the boundary of comfort and discomfort because that's where we need to be to get the benefits of the pose. And then choosing your expression of surrender. Slowly placing the hands under the shoulders, taking time to come back up through the spine. Exhaling your weight onto the left hip, breathing in as the body slowly rotates to the right, breathing out as the right heel comes down. And we slowly turn until the left foot and the right thigh lead. Both arms lift, hinge from the right hip down towards the toes. Relax the face fully. Relax as much as you can. Both arms come up as we breathe in. Bring the left hand down to the ground, breathe out. Scoop the hips up, inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, keep breathing. And slowly sitting back down. Left arm comes up, breathe in. Right arm comes across the body, breathe out. Open the left, open the chest to the left, inhale, and lower across to the right, exhale. Bring the arms up and then lower them down. Bring your right knee around, spin your feet to the end of the mat that you would like them to go to. Simply bring the arms forward as you inhale, scoop the tailbone under and one vertebrae at a time, roll down to the mat with your exhale. I want you to check in with one body part at a time. Once you're here, notice how you feel. Is there any more movement that you need to be able to rest in comfort, in ease, in Shavasana? If there is, you're more than welcome to take it. But take it mindful of the objective of being still, being able to lie comfortably for just a few moments where we're completely passive to the process of receiving yoga. We've done our asana practice. This is our integration period. And starting to move the fingers and the toes. And together we'll take a deep inhale through the nose and release that breath through the mouth.
and standing the arms overhead as we breathe in. And rolling onto our right side as we breathe out. Just taking a moment here. And very slowly make your way up to find a comfortable seat. Keeping the focus very gentle and the gaze turned inward. Bring the hands to heart center. Bow your head forward and connecting the thumbs to the third eye. Thank you for joining me today, for uniting with me in this practice. I hope it brings calm and light to the rest of your Monday. Till next time.